All right, boys and girls. So today we're going to make our Claudia Chastling. Chastling, 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 Chastling. Claudia Chastling. She's German. Anyway, abstract um, inspired artwork. I'm going to show you how to make this really cool texture. Let's see if I can get there. We go. Really cool texture there. Um, she works a lot in space. Her stuff is gigantic. This is not, this is sitting on the table, but this is something you can do at home. That's what makes it very interesting. Now you're going to need, you're going to need for the things that you have in your art kit, you will need your white paper pad, the one with the polar bear. You're going to need your markers. You're going to need your crayons. I'm going to use the pack of green with the set. You can use whatever pack of crayons you have. Two things that did not come with the set is a pair of scissors. And by now, boys and girls, you should have a pair of scissors that are appropriate for you. Um, hopefully you're grown up to take care of that. And a really weird thing, a plastic bag. Any plastic bag will work. It sounds weird. Trust me. If you um, if you have a grown up and they go to the store, I bet they have some plastic bags around the house. So get yourself a plastic bag. <coughs> I'll put that aside. So you'll notice that these shapes are arranged in base. So the space that we have to work with, the negative space, is my black paper. The positive space is the other shapes that we're going to create today. And I'm going to leave, this is going to be a two-day project. So just like every other project, I would recommend, I would highly recommend that you leave this in your note, in your pad, until next week when we finish up. So this is a nice new piece of paper. This is my scrap paper. See, I have scrap on it, and I'm going to put it here. I always put my scrap paper underneath the next new sheet. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take some crayons. And I'm going to make some lines. You can use whatever colors you want. So let's think about the kinds of lines that we can make. Hmm. We could make a straight line and a vertical line. Verticals go up and down. So here's a straight line. That's a thin one. Maybe there is a thick straight line. So you can make lines of different widths. That's how thick or thin a line is. So there's some red lines. You could make some curly lines. Everybody loves a good curly line. You could make a wavy line. And again, you can change the direction of the line. You can change the thickness of the line. And you're gonna take your time and you're gonna make some different lines. Now I'm saying that you can use whatever color you want. Perhaps I'll do a zigzag line. And some more curly lines. I don't know. I'm just making this up as I go, people. Do dotted lines. And here's a little trick. You can even use your white crayon and you can do some lines that are invisible. 
Invisible lines are very cool. Maybe I'll do some diagonal lines and I'll do them invisible. Like, I can't see that line. You will be. You will be able to see this line soon. All right. So when I have my lines, and you could even use some brown and black if you want, Claudia uses brown, all kinds of colors. She even uses metallics. So that would be okay. But for right now, I think I'm done. You know, I need something darker in here. Hmm, orange or something. It's ridiculous. Like, I need something darker. Sometimes you do. And there we go. Okay. Now I'm seeing it. So. Okay. So, oh, I hope I didn't break that. Anyway, I'm going to put my crayons away, put them back in my box. And I'm going to close the box because I want to make sure my crayons are safe. So here they are, they're done. Now, you're probably wondering what on earth is I'm doing with this bag? Well, I'm going to show you. So I'm going to do this. So you take the bag. It's a really fun thing to do. And I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut off the handles because I don't need them. And I'm going to open it up. So I'm going to cut down the line. And you want basically a big rectangle. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't really matter. Just open the bag up. If you don't have a bag, you could just use the markers. Okay, so here's the bag. Now, I need the, uh, you need the markers. I have the markers. I have the markers on the safe. I just need the markers. Put them safe. I put them somewhere safe, I promise. Oh, right in front of me. Where else would I put them? So, this is what you're going to do. You pick a color and you put the color down. So you have a lot of color on the plastic. This might seem very strange. Let's follow this. So red ink. And uh, you can get whatever colors you want, just like before. Doesn't matter. More the merrier, but don't mix the colors on the plastic. Otherwise, you're going to have icky markers. Nobody wants icky markers. Some colors do better than others. So we're going to notice that some colors, notice I did the pink next to the red, but not mixing it. So be careful that you don't mix. Put some purple down. Put a lot of ink down. So this is the ink on the plastic. And the thing about the plastic is ink does not sink into the plastic. This is a water, watercolor ink, so it doesn't ever go in the plastic, which seems really weird, but trust me, it works. And this is why it's going to work, because it is the way it is. The way skill people. All right. Now, I've got two greens. I'd like to use them all. And like I said, you're going to find that some colors work better and you can actually go back and do this a second time if you want, which is kind of cool. And put some orange down. Put some orange down over here. Oh, I forgot yellow. Where is there a clear spot? Here's a clear spot. There's some yellow here. And be careful. I mix a little yellow in there to clean my marker off. So keep your markers clean, especially the light colors. All right, so I have all this ink on this plastic, and you're like, oh, you're growing up probably like, that's a mess. You take the plastic, and you flip it around so the wet side goes onto the paper, and you give it a rub, a little rub, and a little rub. And if it wiggles, so be it. If it wiggles or jiggles, so be it. Really rub it. Rub it really good. Make sure it gets a nice dissolve. And then when you peel the paper away, boom, look at that. Now you're going to notice like the pink. I thought the pink would turn out better. Let me try that pink again. So 
I just want to put some more on. Sometimes you have to get a little moisture, a little wet. Give it a rub. And if that doesn't work, you can always go over it with a different color. There you go. There's some pink. See how it makes that weird texture? This is exactly what you want. You want a weird texture. The weirder the texture, the better. And you can go back on any of your clean spots on your paper, and you're basically using it as a printing plate. But you're not printing like, it doesn't have to be exact. What we're worried about is just making an interesting texture. And you'll see that I'm looking at this and I'm going, hmm, I could add some more interesting texture here. This looks a little sad. It needs a friend. Now, you might want to do this a second time. Like you do it once and you're like, I don't know if I like it. So you want to try, have a second go at it and see if you can do um, a different texture and make it turn out a little differently. I hate to say better because sometimes what we think is better isn't or whatever. Feel free. Feel free. You can do, um, just be mindful of the fact that this is all the paper and materials you have until the end of the year. However, I feel like with 50 sheets of paper, you probably could do two sheets of this. Look at how much darker I got that. So if I keep going over these, I can get it darker and I can get a more intense texture or I can leave it lighter. And the nice thing about this is that when you make the texture, you can go back over it. You'll see that I'm doing this multiple times. Boom, see, check it out. It's got a weird kind of um, texture to it. The, the Wherever the crayons are, I gotta put some more color down here. Um, wherever the crayons are, the color is not showing up. I need orange this color. I need. Um, orange, orange, get me more orange. Um, so, yeah, this is something to play with. Artists use all kinds of crazy stuff to make art, just so you know. And they don't always want things to turn out. Wait. Sometimes you worry about texture. This is a texture thing right here. So we're worried about the textures and the colors. I think I'm pretty happy with that. So I have some textures that are darker and I have some textures that are lighter. And that's about it. And when you're done with your plastic bag and you are happy with the way this turned out for today, you're done, you leave it in there. So make sure your um, caps on your marker have snapped sound listen for it snap your caps and then make sure all of your markers go back into your box so they're safe and i would recommend to have a, a, a safe place for your stuff somewhere where your art stuff always is i for one have a drawer here's my pair of scissors i'm going to throw away these pieces of plastic um I'm going to put my scissors away and my markers away. And there it is. There's my, I need the light. Sometimes the lights are better, sometimes worse. So you can see, okay, so your, your grown up's going to look at it and go, what did you make? We're, made, we're focused on a texture. So when we talk about this, the texture and the lines, that's what we want to work on today. Fill the entire paper. Every inch of it should have something. It doesn't have to be all dark. Look, I have some spots here that are very light. I have some spots that are darker. I really got a lot of red down of it. Originally, I did not. Here's quite a bit of orange. Now, when I'm done, I'm going to load my pad and put this away. 
All right. I can't wait to see your work in Seesaw. I want to have a picture of it so I know where you are and I know if you need any help. Have a great day.